Hi there. Let's talk about getting into university. So to get into university, you need a bachelor's pass in matric. Uh, so I want to talk a little bit about what uh, does that entail? How do I get a bachelor's pass? So for starters, you need to consider that you are doing subjects that are, you know, um, kind of higher level, that's relevant subjects to go to university. So let me uh, list for you the subjects you should be considering if you want to go to university. Accounting, agricultural science, business studies, consumer studies, dramatic arts, economics, engineering, graphics and design, geography, history, information technology, languages, life sciences, math, mathematics, music, physical science, religious studies, visual arts. Sure, you can get a bachelor's pass with mathematical literacy, but remember, if you do mathematical literacy and you get a bachelor's pass, you're excluded from 80% of degrees at university. 80% of those degree programs, the entry requirement is mathemat mathematics at metric level, not mathematical literacy. Of course, if you've chosen your subjects smartly, you're thinking about what degree you want to study and you're choosing subjects that aim towards that degree, you've looked at the entrance requirements of that degree so you know you've picked the right subjects. How well must you do in those subjects? To achieve a bachelor's pass in matric in general, you need an APS score of 21 points. Obviously, it depends on what university and depends on what degree you want to study, it's not always the same subjects and it's not always exactly 21 points, but I'm giving you the broad uh, overview. So, how is my APS score, my admission uh, score calculated? Each, each subject you do for your top seven subjects, um, you put your percentage that you achieved in matric into a calculator, it turns it into a point out of 10, those points are added up, uh, and that final point, if it's 21 or more, you're probably getting a bachelor's pass. And, and you know, I've made a video about APS score and I'll give you a link uh, how to to a website where you can just fill in your points, your metric points, and it calculates your APS score for you. Okay, so you've, you have you know, you have your metric results, uh, you've calculated your APS score, you've looked at where you wanna study, and your points are not good enough to actually get into university or get into the course you want to study. What now? So let me take you through the options. Um, you know, if it's, if it's just after the metric results came out, I think for about three or four weeks after you get your results, you can ask for a remark. So if you think you've got the wrong results, you can have it remarked. There's a small fee and you might get better results. You can ask for a recheck. A check means somebody looks at whether your points were actually properly added up on your uh, exam paper and whether everything was actually marked. Um, once again, you've got to apply for that very quickly after you get your results. Um, of course, you can rewrite. Um, every year there's uh, the re a rewrite exam in May and June. So after you get your results, you've got about three or four weeks to apply for the rewrite for the second chance uh, exam. And then you can go and you can improve your results for one or two of your subjects, not more than that. So, you know, there's three different ways in which you could possibly improve that metric result. Uh, if you achieved your metric a while back, two, three years back, if you are now 20 years of age or 21 years of age, obviously you can consider the adult metric. Um, you need to be at least 21 years of age when you write the adult metric exam. So if you're aiming for the next adult metric exam, that's May next year, you need to be 21 years or older by May next year to be able to attempt that adult metric. If you do the adult metric exam, your school marks doesn't count. You can pick new subjects if you want to. You write your six subjects. The results you get are the results that's going to be on your metric certificate. Um, you know, that's what the uh, Uma Lucy metric certificate looks like. If you do an adult metric, this thing doesn't say adult metric. Uh, whether you do adult metric or a school metric, it's all the same uh, certificate from Uma Lucy. Uh, so yeah, you, that's how you can improve your results. Um, lastly, of course, you can also combine metric results. So if at school you did well in four subjects, you're now 21 years old, you can go and do two subjects in the adult metric system. And then when you have those results from those two subjects and you've got your school four subjects, you, you, you send all of that to Umalusi and you ask them to combine the two 
sets of results and you get a new metric certificate with only the best uh, six results that you've achieved. So, you know, that's how you can improve your uh, metric results. Thank you.